Hey everyone, just a few minutes ago we have got a new update regarding quest design of New World MMORPG. Stay with me for the next few minutes to hear how sounds new voiceover for NPCs and which other changes are coming to New World. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to see more New World videos in the future. I am following all information from beautiful world of MMORPG gaming and when I see something interesting is happening or if I see some useful information, you will see it here on my YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe. Okay, let's dive into video. So the first thing about this video which you can see in front of you, this is video which we have get a few minutes ago from developers of the game Amazon Game Studios. And we will check later this video, I will uh, put uh, the sound a little bit more up and then you will hear how NPCs actually that new voiceover sounds and we will check some details regarding questline. But first, let's go to official website of a new world where we check all the new changes which are coming with this uh, quest line uh, update. So let's go over there updates of quest design and i have to say this is actually pretty amazing thing that we have get another update so fast after that previous update right ebo and scale reach right so let's check now this update of quest design quests are the backbone of new world's narrative experience well i have to agree on that throughout them you will explore the world gain experience acquire critical items upgrade your gear and progress your character. Armed with your feedback, we have been consistently making improvements to our questing system and will continue to make changes as we head toward a launch and beyond. This is really nice to see that they have listened the feedback of the players and they have uh, made uh, changes uh, according to that. Our vision. We have four key pillars to drive our vision for quests. Give players identity and purpose. Okay, this sounds really good, right? Give players identity and purpose. We want players to understand their role within cataclysmic events unfolding across Aeternum, while learning how to navigate New World's core systems and empowering them to experiment and discover which skills, activities, and gear best fit their playstyle. Immerse players in Aeternum. It's really important basically for any MMORPG, not only for New World, to give that immersion, to immerse players into the story, into the game, right? If you can achieve that, well, then you have achieved a lot. So, the main story questline, MSQ, okay, guides players throughout each of the island, island's regions and offers opportunities to explore the lore of Aeternum throughout uncovering ancient secrets, learning about enemy groups that occupy the land and meeting powerful friends and enemies as you learn that not all is as it seems on the surface of this new and mystical world. I love how they put the, these sentences. <laughs> it really sounds good. And we have one a screenshot here, right, which is actually showing how is this, uh, uh, we can say, user interface for Quest looking, right? Looking pretty nice, right? Provide consistent activities for players. Okay, this is important. This is really important. From the moment a new player first washes up on a shore throughout their journey to level 60 and endgame content, players should always have an active objective to complete in a series of ongoing story-driven quests as they strive to make their mark of on Aeternum. And yeah, this is really important. Absolutely. You need to always have some kind of a uh, real objective uh, while you play the game, while you advance to that uh, level 60. Highlight special moments and celebrate progression. Taking players to distinct areas and points of interest across the land, adding climatic moments to unique quests anchored into lore and unlocking both important items and the secrets of Aeternum are all key to designing and updating the MSQ. Recent changes. Here are some of the changes we've added to improve the quest experience in the March Alpha update. Quest variety and new objectives. Many zones have had their quest restructured for narrative flow. Additionally, 
in many instances, we replaced generic looting objectives. Okay, this sounds good because generic looting, this is never good, right? Never good, absolutely. Uh, so we have replaced a generic looting objectives with a new interactable items tailored to specific quests. This should help increase quest variety along with creating unique experiences within both the MSQ and many side quests found throughout Aeternum. So, okay, changes to main story quest line, MSQ, and also to many side quests found throughout Aeternum. Really nice. Improved starting experience. The starting experience and early MSQ throughout the acquisition of Azot staff, a crucial weapon in the fight against corruption, uh, has had many tweaks and alternation to improve progression flow. Okay, added voiceover and improved dialogue. Let's actually check that uh, voiceover. Let's go back here to this video and uh, it's a shame. The bear let's check it out. Me, maybe. Well, what do you think of our new camp? Not much to look at yet, but as Plato says, the beginning is the most important part of the work. Oh. This fort seems familiar somehow. Okay, this yeah. sounds really good. In my opinion, this sounds really good, right? It's always a treat to see a new face. Whether you are new to Eternum or simply from another settlement, you are welcome to First Light. Ah, it's almost a shame. I think the bears were about to accept me. Maybe. Well, what do you think of our new camp? Not okay, okay, really, I think we have heard enough. I will put the link in the description below video. Most important. We have heard enough for now. Uh, I will put the link in the description below video so you can check this video later. But this sounds really good, right? I think you can agree with me that this is absolutely a good change. Absolutely a positive change. So, they have added a voiceover and improved dialogue. All existing quests have had their dialogue updated to improve NPC characterization and enhance quest directives. We also added English voiceover for the MSQ and starting beaches to help bring the many characters players encounter to life. Localized voiceover is in progress, okay? Localized voiceover is in progress, really nice. Introduced new characters, regions, and enemies. Introduced significant narrative quest lines with unique objectives in the new Ebon Scale Reach and Requater regions. We know about that uh, update from before, right? Ebon Scale Reach. And we also uh, know about Requater region. You have seen one of my previous videos probably regarding uh, these two regions. Uh, where the players will need to complete a late game story quests to vanquish powerful enemies such as the Siren Queen and the Empress. Wow. Okay. Added quests for unique weapons and armor. We've added new quests starting at level 40 that will guide players on a journey to craft and obtain rare armor sets and legendary weapons. We know about that uh, from before, from previous update, right? So basically, uh, starting at level 40, you can finish some quests and then you will be able to craft uh, before that you will get materials right from that quest and then you will be able to craft a uh, rare armor sets and legendary weapons really nice right looking forward in future updates we will continue to build out the msq by adding narrative driven climatic events throughout level 60. These will introduce new enemies, unique objectives to continue to improve quest variety and new stories for the players to experience on their quests uh, to learn the secrets of Aeternum. As we continue development and improvements, we will keep you updated on our social channels and website. And I have to say, again, really good news this evening from Amazon Game Studios, right? This uh, update on quest design is really a nice thing. I mean, after we have get that bad news regarding delay of the game until August 31st, 2021, right? We have get actually a uh, lots of interesting changes in that Ebon Scale Reach update. That was like, what, one week ago, 10 days ago? And now again, updates on quest design, which are absolutely a positive change. And I'm really glad to see that Amazon Game Studios are really working hard on improving the game. And I have no doubt at all that now when they have actually really a lot of time, they will 
finish the work on the right way and we will get some really really a nice a game finished product on august 31st 2021 thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my youtube channel to see more new world videos and of course uh, mmorpg gaming videos in the future see you soon